filmed or uploaded in over two weeks. Um, I was taking a break for obvious reasons, not uploading for obvious reasons. I chose to pause all content on my social media platforms and on my YouTube channel to stand in solidarity with the black community. It would feel really wrong not touching on this subject before we got into today's video um, because obviously it's top of mind for me just like most people. To anyone watching this or subscribed to my channel that's in the black community, I just want to let you guys know that I am here for you and I am working and trying and learning all the information that I can to make myself the best ally possible for you guys and I am just more cautious than ever and really really grateful for the amount that I've learned over the past few weeks. I'm trying my best to do my part and I'm going to link some resources below for those of you that want to help or do anything that you can. I actually have a highlight on my Instagram um, that's just titled Black Lives Matter and it has all the petitions and links and information, um, educational resources for you guys to go to that I've just been posting over these last few weeks. If you want to just go check that out, I will link that below and you can just see everything that I have shared. Um, but I will have some other stuff linked below for you guys. So I just wanted to share that really quickly. I do have a really fun video coming in a few weeks. It will be featuring a haul of all black owned business. I'm really excited about it because I have a ton of great products coming. I just have a few packages I'm waiting on, but it's going to be a really great video and I cannot wait to do that. I kind of wanted that to be my first video back, but um, some stuff is delayed because a lot of the stuff is on back order because everyone has been sharing spotlights of black owned business, which is amazing for them. I'm so happy to see like products sold out. It's just really great to see everyone supporting. So I'm going to be doing that soon. As soon as I get everything, I just want to let you guys know. Um, and I just had to say that because it would feel wrong not to. So thank you guys for your patience and continuing to follow me because I lost some followers on Instagram during this whole thing, which is fine. We're weeding out the bad people. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Today I am doing part two of styling trendy outfits from Pinterest with clothes that I have in my closet. Pretty long title, but I did this a few weeks ago, maybe like over a month ago, I don't know how long ago it was, really doesn't matter. I did this video and you guys loved it and I had so much fun doing it. I just basically picked some of my favorite pictures from my Pinterest boards and recreated the outfits with clothes that I already own and it was really fun. All the outfits came out really great and it kind of helped me get out of my comfort zone a little bit and I feel like it's a great way to show how you can recreate these outfits if you guys want to recreate outfits that I share on here. Just ways that you can make your own and kind of put your own style into it. I think it's really useful. I have five outfits today I think. There are four outfits in this that are going to be kind of like all with interchangeable pieces. I picked Four that kind of have similar um, items in each look and then there's just kind of one bonus outfit so let's go ahead and get into it I am really excited about this and I hope you guys like it so I definitely want to make this into a series but you guys will have to let me know if you like this style of video better than the last one the last one I kind of picked the photos on the spot and then styled them on the spot today I have pre picked the photos and styled them um, for you guys to see all like just put together already because I wanted to make sure everything was as great as possible and styled the best way possible let me know what you guys think about that we can mess around with ideas so let's go ahead and get into the first outfit okay you guys so I'm so sorry but I am missing this clip of me talking about this outfit you will see my outfit recreation, but for some reason, the clip of me showing the pieces and talking about this first look um, is missing. I cannot find it. So this is the first outfit we're recreating. The first two looks both have a black blazer, so it's kind of a different variation of a black blazer and how you can style it. So this is what we're doing first. Very simple, just some cut off shorts, like the boyfriend short style with a little crop and a blazer. Okay, so here is my version of this outfit. I actually get a lot of questions about these shorts. I've styled them in multiple videos, but you guys always ask about them. So these were originally jeans from Zara that I cut myself. I am like the CEO of cutting all of my jeans into shorts in the summertime. I decided to cut these into more of a boyfriend length because they are really trendy. So these came out perfect because I was able to do the right length for me. I definitely recommend doing that if you guys wanna go find a vintage pair of jeans or something like that um, from the thrift store. So that's where those are from. The blazer that is the statement of this look is from Lulu's. So that's gonna be in the next outfit as well. It's a very classic, simple blazer. The shoes that I decided to add were just some very simple little sandals from Miss Lola. These are great because the heel isn't too high and they're not flat, you know, so it's like you can kind of dress them up 
or dress them down. They are very versatile, just very simple, thin straps and dainty and pretty. Um, and I also forgot to mention the little crop top I have on is just a little boxy crop from Boohoo. I also can't see if she's wearing a purse or not, but I'm gonna finish the look off with this little purse here. This is from Princess Polly. It's so cute. I wear it in multiple outfits in this video. It is just a perfect effortless little shoulder bag. You guys know gray is my vibe. I'll definitely be saving this outfit for a little night outlook. I think it's really cool and just so simple and just something that I feel like people will compliment you on because it's so effortless. And moving on to our next outfit, we have the same blazer, but it's with some jeans instead. I mean, I'm assuming she's wearing jeans. They don't really look like shorts. And then kind of a little bustier style top. And the reason I chose this is because I did actually just get a top that style. If you guys keep up with my videos, I'm sure you saw it in my Princess Polly haul. So this is it. It's a little white bustier top. Hers has sleeves, mine is strapless. Um, totally fine because you're wearing a blazer and you won't really be able to tell anyways. And I also think mine is a little bit more cropped than hers is. And it also kind of comes down at an angle on the front but this is just like I need a reason to wear this I feel like maybe if you're a bride this would be really cute for like maybe like a bachelorette kind of thing like a more casual kind of you know night out for drinks or something like that um, just this white is so so cute you could wear it with jeans and some heels or even like maybe a little leather skirt I feel like that would be really really cute they do also have this in black if black is more your style but this is just I wanted to style this for this video so it looks so so cool with the blazer um, and then a pair of jeans that I'm actually wearing right now so I can't hold them up um, but you guys have seen them so many times these are my a goldie jeans Jeans. I am obsessed with these. If you're looking for a great pair of jeans and you're willing to spend a little bit extra on them, I would definitely recommend a Goldie. These are the best the best jeans that I've ever owned. They don't stretch out and I have not needed to look for any other jeans. They are everything of the sort. So you need them if you guys are looking for jeans. And I just really, really love the style of doing this blazer with denim. I just think it looks so, so cute. I have mentioned multiple times on my channel that I love a look where you're contrasting two different vibes. You know, traditionally we would see a blazer with workwear or, you know, maybe a pantsuit or a skirt or just a dress or whatever the heck you wear blazers with but I really love the style of wearing it with sneakers, with jeans, with t-shirts, and just kind of taking it to a place that it isn't normally taken to. Um, I think that's really, really cool. And she's wearing her hair back with a big pair of hoops. They look like she has some Louis Vuitton hoop earrings on, and I do not have those, but I do have just some bold gold hoops that I'm gonna wear, similar size to hers, and they will work just fine. I also can't see what bag she's carrying or what shoes she's wearing, so I'm gonna just get creative and wear what I would wear. I'm pairing it with my little saddle bag, the little Dior knockoff, which we're gonna wear again in this video because you see this style of bag all over Pinterest is very trendy. You see so much designer stuff on Pinterest and it really makes you question, like can everyone really afford all these designer items? Like sometimes the girls you see on there are wearing like head to toe designer in all their looks and I'm just like, how? Like, where are you getting this money? I don't know. But the dupe will work for me and I'm sure it will work for you too. So this one, I don't know if it's available, but I will try to find something similar below for you guys. So just check the description box. But this is the bag I'm carrying. And then my shoes, I decided to do something a little bold. Well, the color's bold. The shoes are very classic and simple. Sorry, trying to buckle them so you guys can get the full effect. But, uh, pfft whatever, you'll see them on. So I have these lime green block heel sandals from Miss Lola as well. They are so, so cute and so fun for summer. If you're anything like me and you typically stick to neutrals, I try to do maybe like a pop of color in an accessory or a bag or shoes and then I can keep my outfit still really neutral, but then this adds like a little bit of flavor to the look. So these are just so, so cute. This color was just like screaming at me when I saw it. It's everything and I think it looks really good with this look you obviously could do whatever color shoe you want because we're wearing just black and white and denim um, so I thought these would be really fun and I love the daintiness of all the little straps they're just so so cute so absolutely love this look another look that I would definitely wear on a night out I think also great for like drinks or date night or something like that is just adorable. Also forgot to say that she is wearing sunglasses. I just wore these little Amazon sunnies. They're just a little cheapy pair of cat eye sunglasses, but they're so cute and on trend and actually thought they looked really, really cool with this look with a little hair pulled back. I loved it. So 
these are great. I'll link them below if they're still available. Okay, next few looks, we have a oversized white button down. So this first one, she's wearing it kind of like a dress and I don't have this exact one, but I have something very similar. So I love this look she's wearing. This just like spoke to me. I feel like I've worn something like this before, maybe even in one of my videos. Um, I love a little belt bag over an oversized shirt, oversized button down. She has her hair back with some cool sunglasses. That's just like totally my vibe. So knew we had to do it. It's an easy one for me to recreate. Really cute and simple. I even said in my last video that I feel like Pinterest sometimes shows you really simple outfits that they just look so cool and you're like, what? Like she's just wearing a t-shirt. How does she look so cute? And it just shows you like less is more and you can do a really cool stylish look and look effortless without doing too much. So, so the white t-shirt that I'm going to be styling is this satin long t-shirt dress kind of thing from Princess Polly. And like I said, this is meant to be like a dress, t-shirt dress situation, but the times that I have worn it, it has gotten a little bit shorter on me um, because <laughs> it kind of shrunk a little bit. So it's pretty short. So for me, I'm just gonna wear a tiny little bike short underneath. Um, she's obviously not wearing bike shorts, but you know, we're improvising. Um, but I really, really love this top. I feel like it's so luxe and cool and you could wear it in so many different ways. You guys will see one more look with it, with it open. Um, but we're we're gonna button it up and then throw on a little belt bag that I have. And mine is actually pretty similar to the one she is wearing. It's a similar like the bum bag style. Um, this one is from Boohoo. I actually think they do still have it. I got it a while ago, but I still see it on their website. So I will link it for you guys. If you guys ever are wearing something oversized and you feel like you wanna maybe bring your shape back a little bit and maybe you don't wanna wear a belt, I think a belt bag is a great answer. Obviously they're really convenient. You don't need to carry a purse. You can just keep your phone in there, especially if you're like going out or just you don't feel like carrying a bag. This is great. You can belt it, you can tighten it just enough to kind of cinch your waist and also make it a part of your outfit. And I think it looks so, so cool. And she's keeping her accessories really simple. It looks like she might just have some studs in. So I'm just gonna do my tiny little hoops that I wear every day. And then a gold necklace that I don't have on right now. But it's just a simple gold chain from Randa Fry. So we're just gonna keep it really easy there. And then I'm um, putting my hair back and throwing on a pair of sunglasses. And the sunnies that I'm wearing are the same ones from the last look. And again, like a lot of the pictures on Pinterest, I cannot see her shoes. So we're improvising and wearing what I would style this with. You definitely could wear sneakers with this that would look really, really cute. But I'm just wearing those same little black block heel sandals. I'm wearing them a little bit different though. So you could just, if you guys get these, um, you could definitely wear them with your foot all the way through like you're supposed to. But I am just stepping on top of this second little strap and wearing it like that. <laughs> Do you guys like my hand as a foot? Um, you'll see in the look, but it's just a different way you could wear the sandal if you wanna kinda mix it up a little bit and keep it even more simple with the straps. It just turns it into two simple dainty straps instead of three, so. That's what I did there. But we are moving on to the next look with that same white blouse, but now we are unbuttoning it. So this look is like a typical Pinterest outfit. Something that you see that you're like, wow, it looks so cool, but you can't really tell if it's just like the way they styled the photo or the way they look, like if that's what's making it look cool. Every once in a while I see an outfit on Pinterest and it's just like they take a really cool photo. So it makes the outfit look really chic and stylish. But when you actually like think about the outfit, I'm like, that actually like is not a very cute outfit. They've just kind of framed it in a way and gotten the right angle where it looks like it's really cool, but actually nothing matches and whatever, you know? So this is kind of one of those things that I'm a little bit skeptical about, but let me tell you guys, I absolutely love this. I feel so cool and trendy in this outfit. You'll see my recreation in a minute once I break it down. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. So we are styling this open shirt with a sports bra. So she is wearing just a simple Nike check little sports bra. And I've actually been seeing people style little Nike bras like this on Instagram. Um, and I just thought it was so, so cool. Mine isn't as simple as everyone else's. Mine has the big Nike logo on it, but it works just the same for me. I do need to just get a simple one with just a little swoosh on the front. Um, cause I have seen people wear it with blazers and things like that. It just looks really sick. Again, that contrast is always really in very cool for streetwear. Um, but I am styling it with this button down and I think it looks so, so sick. So again, I can't see her full outfit and you're probably looking at this like what the heck is going on with that? But let me show you guys when it all comes together, it looks like such a cool, like LA vibe that I am just obsessed with. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that she's wearing some type of pant. Can't fully see her legs, but it looks like it might be like a high-waisted 
pant short something I'm going with these jeans because I think it goes best with the look and kind of sells that uh, contrast that we're going for so these are the Goldie jeans they're the black version well like kind of washed out gray version of the jeans that I'm wearing now so they're the same pair but they don't have the distressing on it and they're a different color obviously but these are my favorite jeans so so good um, and they look perfect with this outfit so I feel like the distressed look for the black kind of makes it look even more cool I like just classic black jeans but you know I think these are a little bit more stylish a little vintage looking and just more of the wave you know what I mean and then I just threw on my ride or die air force ones they're a little bit dirty it's totally fine um, and they go perfect with this look little pair of sneakers to kind of go with the vibe of the sports bra very like sporty and casual and then I put my hair back in this claw clip that I'm actually wearing now it's just a tortoise shell claw clip that I got from Amazon. Thought it went really well with the trendy vibe of the outfit. Really love the clip. And then the final little touch is my purse, the gray one that you guys already saw. And then these sunnies. So this just really brings the whole trendiness totally home. These sunglasses are not for everyone. I know some people don't like them, but I love them. This rectangle shape, they're totally in style right now. Very like streetwear, cool LA vibes, like I said. That outfit I think might be one of my favorites from this video. I'm really actually really into all these looks, but that one is just like, you know, something that I wouldn't have thought of on my own that I needed some inspiration from. So I'm really, really happy with that outfit recreation. So last outfit for today, like I said, it's kind of a bonus outfit. I don't have like an interchangeable look to go with this. Um, I just have this one. So that's why we're calling it a bonus look. But I actually think I only did three outfits in my last Pinterest video. So five is pretty good for today. Um, so this one, the main focus of this look is the bucket hat. I absolutely love this outfit. It's so simple easy to recreate because it's just classic pieces that you can wear a bunch of different ways um, again I'm gonna wear my Goldie jeans because you just can't go wrong with this denim and then she has just a black shirt and a black bucket hat with some Converse on and it's just easy enough for me and it looks so effortless and cool this is something that I would typically like overthink you know like this is an outfit I probably would put together and then be like it needs something else like what can I do next you know like it's a little bit too easy like just all black with the denim but it does look really cool like I need to just like not overthink it so much like I'm always trying to do the most you know what I mean so the main focus of this look is the bucket hat like I said and I just got this bucket hat from Miss Lola I just got a package from them so that's why I've been showing a few of the looks there I do have a coupon code with them that I will link with the items below um, but yeah so this bucket hat is just a plain black bucket hat like what she's wearing which worked out perfectly um, and then I'm actually wearing the outfit that is in this look so I didn't have like a long enough black shirt I just have a cropped version because she's wearing hers kind of tucked um, which I think this works better for my body type anyways I don't typically like tucking my shirts prefer more of a boxy crop so this little crop tee is from Topshop just a simple black tee like she's wearing and then of course she's layering all her jewelry which makes me really happy because that's what I like to do um, she has a few little necklaces on it looks like she's wearing silver but for me, we're doing gold because you guys already know. Um, and I decided to kind of nix the belt because I didn't really like how the belt looked. So we're going beltless for this look. I think it looks cute on her, but I wasn't really feeling it. But, you know, close enough to the outfit either way. And then I obviously have my Converse that I always wear. So I have these platform ones. I don't think she's wearing the platform version. She's just wearing some black high tops. But these obviously are close enough and sell the look. Too bad I don't have my blonde bob anymore because then I would really look like her. Um, but uh, I don't have the sunglasses she's wearing and I don't really have anything similar so we're just not gonna do sunglasses for this look. But I do think this is really cute. Definitely something I would wear and something that's just easy to throw on maybe when you have no idea what to wear. It's just an easy outfit to put together like I said and also really you know gender neutral I feel like I definitely see like a guy in LA wearing this outfit with a little bucket hat um in the purse I didn't have the purse that she's wearing so I'm just carrying my uh Rebecca Minkoff little crossbody bag that I have shortened to be just a shoulder bag so um yeah came out really cute and I'm really into this look I will definitely be wearing every single outfit in this video. You guys will have to let me know if you prefer this format better than the last one where I kind of just do it on the spot or if you guys like when they're pre-planned. For me, when the outfits are pre-planned, they kind of come together a little bit better, you know? So I definitely do want to do some celebrity outfit recreations, but I think for those, I will probably purchase 
the outfits and maybe do like looks for less so that I can get a little bit closer to what they're wearing because they wear a lot of unique things that I don't have in my closet. So, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm so glad I'm back. More vlogs are coming. I'm actually going to vlog tomorrow. That will be up soon and I have a ton of videos planned. I'm really excited to get back to filming. So thank you guys for being patient. I love you. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.